Uh, just stuck with it, you know. Um, kept doing what we do, moving the ball, uh, and eventually the game would come to you. So uh, I just stayed with it, continued to get stops, and that kind of led to our offense. And then uh, everything got easier from there. They shot 50% in the first half, and uh, coach gave us, you know, he gave us a handful for that. So uh, we tried to come out second half, and even like when we made that run in the first, just you know, keep getting stops, and that led to offense. We held them to about 27, I think, in the second half, and uh, 35 for the game. So uh, you know, that's that's going to be our calling card. We're going to try to make that our identity, and uh, when we do that, you know, we're, we're pretty. Successful. You know, just as a review today, I thought you know, the second half, especially that we tightened up on on both ends of the floor uh, defensively. We still made some mistakes, but we were around the ball a lot more, and we challenged a little bit more shots, and uh, we were able to absorb, you know, what what was a very aggressive uh, Chicago State offense at the beginning of the game. And uh, I thought our offense was pretty good today, and and we, we got you know a lot of assists, which we've been trying to talk about, uh, you know, since the start of the season. And, and when you share the basketball. You can get high percentage shots, and I thought we did a good job most of the game in doing that. And then, as I said, the defense uh, started to come around after halftime. The you know, guys started to buckle down, realize what we were doing in that moment, and uh, and understand what the game plan was. And, and uh, once they started executing uh, what we had talked about the last few days, I thought we you know, we, we forged ahead.